Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Filmbook Review, an official YouTube channel of Filmbook. Featured in Google News, IMDb's news desk, and a member of the Critics' Choice Association, Filmbook is an entertainment industry news website that reports on the film and television show industries in the United States and across the world. Today on Filmbook Review, I'll be reviewing the film Breaking the Ice, a movie that screened at the 2022 Tribeca Film Festival. Breaking the Ice is written and directed by Clara Stern and stars Alina Schaller, Judith Altenberger, Wolfgang Bach, Pia Herzeger, and Tobias Samuel Resch. This is a Breaking the Ice movie review, and there will be spoilers. If you like our movie reviews, please like this Breaking the Ice film review as that helps us out with YouTube's algorithm, and consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box and you are all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash filmbook. And now, the Breaking the Ice movie review. Conventional sports movies have become mundane and are commonplace in American cinema. No matter how good King Richard was, and it was very good, it felt a bit ordinary in some of its display of rousing sports victories. In the new Austrian movie, Breaking the Ice, the mechanics of the sports scenes dealing with ice hockey feel pretty run-of-the-mill at times, but the movie's lead performance by Alina Schaller is simply groundbreaking. This character which Schaller plays is one we don't see enough of in movies today. Schaller plays Mira, one of the best players on an Austrian hockey team of all women. As written and directed by Clara Stern, Breaking the Ice showcases some phenomenal scenes of angst and yearning and as portrayed by Schaller, Mira's confusion and passion regarding her life choices makes the movie a definite success. Those emotional sequences in the picture raise Breaking the Ice up to the top of the list of recent sports dramas. Working in her family's vineyard takes a toll on Mira, who sometimes shows up late to her hockey games. Mira plays on a team known as the Dragons. Her grandmother died while on the way to receive medical help. She was being transported by Mira's brother Paul at the time. Pia Herzeger co-stars in the movie as Mira's mother, and she is tough for Mira to live with. Mira escapes her day-to-day -day endeavors by playing hockey and eventually takes a liking to a female on the team named Teresa. Meanwhile, Mira's grandfather is losing his memory. Mira's mom is doing her best to hold it all together at home, and despite Paul's departure from the family, seems to be holding on, if just by a thread. While the hockey scenes are all nicely edited, the movie rests on its love story between Mira and Teresa, which could have been its own movie altogether if there was a little less time spent on the ice. Schaller and Altenberger set the screen on fire with their steamy romance. There's plenty of beautiful chemistry between these two actresses, which makes their relationship come to life whether they're fighting, making up, or making love. Schaller's raw vulnerability should be commended while Altenberger more than proves she's capable of rising to the level of Schaller's performance in the later scenes in the movie. There's an excellent scene set on a bus where players on the female hockey team play music and lip sync to their favorite songs. This is an example of how well the movie does when it's off the ice. Even when Mira starts to make herself more masculine with a fake beard in one scene, Schaller is fascinating to watch. She's gorgeous, but she has a strong personality that makes her one of the most memorable female lead characters I've seen in a while. She dresses in her brother Paul's clothes at one point, to her mother's disliking in a heartbreaking scene. There is some predictability in some of the hockey scenes. While the ending is stand-up and sheer good, it's conventional and is hardly groundbreaking cinema. However, the family drama which the movie presents is so much more emotionally involving. Schaller and Herzeger share some great dramatic moments together, which heighten the intensity of the picture. Breaking the Ice also benefits greatly from a terrific use of songs. They move the scenes forward smoothly with little time for any sort of boredom to set in. In fact, this is one of the most entertaining movies of the year for its pacing and excellent use of family dramatics that captivate the audience throughout. All the scenes in the movie ring true with their occasional awkwardness and realism. Schaller may not be recognized as strongly as she deserves to be due to the conventional nature of the picture's sports scenes, but it would be wrong not to give her the recognition she deserves for her totally fascinating portrayal of a young woman who is experiencing angst, love, and sexuality against the backdrop of playing hockey and dealing with a tense situation at home. Schaller is truly an actress to watch. Breaking the Ice is a totally absorbing movie that works best when its scenes are off the ice, but hockey fans may enjoy the sports-themed scenes a bit more than I did. 
In any event, this is definitely a movie you will want to see even if it is just to experience the presence of a fresh, new, talented actress. Schaller makes his picture directed with terrific precision by Stern, a stand-up and cheer movie in which you may cheer more for the romance than the actual sports sequences. And that brings us to the conclusion of this Breaking the Ice movie review. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comments section. If you liked what you heard during this review, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Please also visit and subscribe to our podcast channel at Filmbook Podcast and our trailer and reaction channel at Filmbook Trailers. Thank you for viewing, and you can watch one of these reviews next.